Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to another episode of the Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. As you may have noticed, I've tweaked my recording settings a little, so yeah, now it doesn't look like garbage anymore. Yippee! And yeah, I probably should have done this a long time ago to be honest, but... Alright, so now I'm in here. Just go all the way to the left. I'm not really sure what I'm doing because I... There we go. Alright, so just walk in. Now up and right a whole bunch. Now I just go up and uh, hit the yes option. This segment is uh, really not anything important, like the mini segment at least. Hopefully I'm prepared for Rexel. I don't plan on using the x glitch to defeat him. I plan on actually doing it for realsies. And unfortunately, I didn't have the foresight to plan, like, 40 segments ahead and buy an ice rod in the World of Balance when it would have been easy to acquire one. I can't acquire one easily now. I can only steal it from a wizard, <laughs> and that would be a pain in the butt, I think. So, I'm not going to be doing that. And instead, I'll be relying on a Thunder Rod strat. Unfortunately, the Fire Rod and Pearl Rod, they don't uh, hurt Rexel at all. Which is ironic, because he almost feels like an enemy that would be uh, like have undead weaknesses instead of absorbing the undead stuff. But at the same time, I think he's meant to parallel Alexander somehow, the Magicite. So it does make sense in that way that he'd be uh, absorbing Pearl. And as you may have noticed, I put Gao in the third slot because I knew that the character in the third slot is the one you get stuck with. Gao or Gogo would have been fine. Uh, Shadow would have probably sucked because then the next segment would have been more. mini segment would be more painful. So, uh, see you next. No. No. I, I've gone like two steps into the segment. Why can't. Why am I. Always messing my outro up now. So yeah, let's continue this segment. As you may notice, the right bit of the screen doesn't cut off anymore. Thankfully, I went back and checked out the other video recording and to make sure that it w everything worked properly, and lo and behold, it turns out that I was making a mistake of some sort, but that's corrected now. So, yeah, hopefully I can get the better quality without the bugs, thanks. <laughs> had to play around with it a bit, but it was still pretty okay. See, so yeah, I left it up here. This dungeon is so weird, it's like, how do you remember something that's abstract like this? It's hard to visualize, but thankfully the rooms are really short here. Go down, skip his text, hear his noise, and then I make it to the bottom. Okay, battle here. No big deal. Gao can take these guys. I mean, I can't kill them, obviously, or else I'd ruin my whole challenge, but... What the... Oh. <laughs> I guess one of them used roulette and killed himself after I already <laughs> escaped. Uh, that's weird. Uh, whoops, I guess I didn't take a step down. Well, I should be standing above Shadow now. Yeah, I got that right. Hopefully he walks to the same place even if I started above Shadow. Otherwise this could be bad. Hmm. Well, maybe if I go to the right... Even if he didn't walk anywhere, if I go to the right, then I go up and right, then I go up. It works out the same either way, so I don't care. So yeah, now I reach the this spot here. This is one of those rooms that legitimately makes no sense visually, so... But thankfully, all the rooms are short here. I get door noises telling me every single time I get through a room, so... It's still not that bad at all. Oh no, revenge. What's that gonna do? Revenge for all the nothing I did to you. Alright, so that's another door, that's another door. Right, and all the way down. Yes, yeah, so now I get that noise, and now I can go down and left until I hit go go. Now 
and I go up and left until I hit the door. There we go. Went in the door. So now up one, all the way to the left, and then I just run into this door that's floating in the middle of nowhere for some reason. Guess that works too. And now I go around and in. I didn't re-enter the door bringing me back into the first room this time, so that's a plus. All the way down. Left. The series ended up laid out in a fairly bit of a pattern here, but it's not a very helpful pattern, so one, two. Just gotta kinda go right and up until I get right next to the door, because otherwise lining myself up with this thing is a pain. Oh yeah, right, I have more than more characters now. Still revenging for nothing. So yeah, don't have to... None of the distances in this dungeon are very far. It's fairly compact, really. It's a bit maze-like, but... It's still almost impossible to lose your way in it, really. It just guides you along so nicely. Once you get through, like, the first choice of doors. This boss is, uh, really sucky. Let's be honest here, that shadow, get out of my way, I don't need your life. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mesosaur. This is Go-Go. Traveler, right off the bat, that's nice. Curly can use, uh, Pearl Wind and Arise, but it's not gonna keep up with my Travelers. Shadow, you just hit stuff. You don't really accomplish a lot here, but they can't really accomplish a lot either. I'm not really sure if Mesosaur protects against Petrify. If it doesn't, then I don't really have a defense against Delta thing, but I don't care. It shouldn't be that bad. Well, uh, there goes the Ice one. Now Curly's gonna be wasting his time uh, reviving Mo. No, that's Larry. Oh wait, I think uh, Curly just died too. Wow, this is going swimmingly so far. Just hold A at this point. This is uh, faster than any of the runs I've had against these guys, including the last uh, recording I did of this segment, which was a legitimate run, but I forgot to save, so I'm just redoing it. It's not really a big deal, because this segment is really easy, to be honest. And if it was harder, I might have just tried, gone through it with my eyes open and tried to recreate what I did the first time, but might as well just do it legitimately here, you know, because it'll only take me like five minutes. In fact, it would probably take me less time to do another legitimate run than to try and recreate my last legitimate run. So yeah, that's the Stooges. They suck. It's probably expected. It's the train here. I do know that going left and right up won't get me to the save point, but if I just go straight to the left, I'll get lost in all the uh, madness of the train cart with all the gaps and stuff in between the seats. It's a terrible place to try and figure my way out from. So yeah, I'm going to lodge myself in this corner first, kind of similarly to how I entered the Stooges door, really. There we go, save point. Yeah, so hopefully no issues there. You know what? I'm going to drop my safe states now. Just to make, put emphasis on the fact that I am not forgetting this time. See you next time.